Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of composing and decomposing fractions. This is standard 3.3D in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 7 off the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got six kittens here. Some are gray, some are white. We need to find an expression that represents the fraction of the group that are white. All right, so if we're using this online test, my absolute favorite tool to go to is this graph draw. So I'm going to hit this button with the two arrows in the corners. That's going to kind of expand it. And we get this grid paper that has some nice drawing tools. And as you can see, we have the problem behind it kind of transparent behind it. So we can make the grid paper go away. If we make it all the way transparent, we can make the problem go away if we want to. So we can kind of play with that. And we're going to start with this draw feature right here. So we've got six kittens. Some are gray, some are white. Well, that's pretty easy, right? We've got two gray, four white. That's pretty simple. But we need to find an expression. Okay, so what is an expression? Well, look at our answer selections down here. Our answer selections are expressions simply because they don't have an equal sign. Okay? So if you have an equal sign, it's going to be an equation. But there is no equal sign. It's not 1 fourth plus 1 fourth on D equals 2 fourths. It's just 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. So that's called an expression because there's no equal sign. It's not an equation. So we need to find the represent uh, a way to represent the fraction of white kittens. Okay, so our fraction here is going to be two parts, right? So let's make sure we label them correctly. So we need the numerator. That's going to be our top number. And then we need our denominator. And remember, we learned a little bit about fractions in second grade, but we did a lot more work in third grade. So the numerator is the number of uh, the type you're choosing. In this particular problem, we're looking at the number of white. Since it says in the question itself, we need to find an expression that represents the fraction of kittens that are white. So you're, you're looking for a part. And then we've got our total number of kittens. That's your denominator is always going to be your total. So that's for the most part the denominator is usually pretty easy to find. It's the numerator that changes as the problem is trying to get you to look at one type of kitten or another type of kitten. Okay, so let's see. We've got number of white kittens. Okay, that's pretty easy. Right? There's four of them. And how many Kittens are there all together, 4 plus 2, that makes 6. But we're not simply looking at what is the fraction of kittens that are white. That's something you might do in second grade. Now we need to decompose it into um, the smaller sections. Okay, So let's take a look at each of these kittens. So each of these kittens here... If we go down to the unit fraction, right, a unit fraction is a fraction that has the smallest unit it can get with a numerator of 1. Let's take a look at our unit fractions here. There's six total kittens, so we're just going to make each of these one-sixths. So each kitten is one-sixth, right? We're going to take these four. These are the white kittens that we're looking for. Now, how can we notice we've got addition, and hopefully just by drawing that, you're starting to see the answer kind of pop out here. If we want to see 4 6, because that's how many white kittens there are, we can take each of these unit fractions here, and we can add them, right? Because it's 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6. Those are the four white kittens. So that means... Our answer here is going to be A.